and welcome to another GTA 5 video, where this week, Rockstar has released another vehicle as part of the Arena War DLC, and the vehicle in question is called the Kase Tulip, the 4 door muscle car that will cost you $718,000, which one can argue that is a lot of money for a muscle car. But do not forget that this muscle car is still cheaper than the Dominator GTX. Now, we will test out the car after upgrading everything to the max. So for a car that is based on a 70s car, this car is fast, with a top speed of around 118 miles per hour, which isn't bad for a 70s car. And like all muscle cars should be, this car has to have a reasonably good power so that there will be wheel speed at the start. And you do have to remember that because this is a 70s car, the brake is almost not there due to the power of this car. The handling is almost non-existent. It is like this car has a mind on its own. And unlike the other car, this car spins off whenever it feels like it. It will do a spin when it wants to, not when you want to. So, you have to be very careful about it. Now, you are going to expect me to say that this car is rubbish, right? Actually, no. Because this car is different than the, any other muscle car I have ever driven before. This car has the power that is required, and it is fast. And therefore, you can try to attempt to do this. This is also a car for people who enjoy driving, and that is what muscle car is all about. Which means this car is fantastic, because this is a car that you really need to build relationship with. You have to win it over and make it feel that you are worthy to be the driver. And when the relationship is there, it makes it the perfect muscle car of all time. So there you are, a fantastic muscle car. Hold on, did you say this car has no brake? Yes. Did you say the handling is almost non-existent? Yes. So what you were saying is that car will crash at any moment? Yes. So you are going to spend 700 grand on this car? I didn't say that. They can spend 700 grand if they want to. Look. Whether this car worth 700 grand or not, I don't know. I think this is more of whether if they can afford it. If they have 70 million dollars and they really enjoy driving, then they should buy it. But then if they only have 70 dollars, then no, they can't. But there's no denying that this is actually a fun car to drive around because you actually have to drive it. And you can keep on giving it the beat until an officer mark to blow you up.